The Fascinating World of Cnidarians Did you know that there are around 9,000 extinct species in the phylum Cnidaria? Although they are among the higher species that are the simplest, they are also among the most attractive. The amazing thing is they contain radially symmetrical organisms. This indicates that the body's components radiate outward from the center like the spokes of a wheel. Hang tight till the end of this video, we will talk about the fascinating world of Nidarians. Hello and welcome back everyone. Before we start, subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this and don't forget to press the bell icon. Having said that, let's begin. The sea star, a Nidarian, a member of the Echinoderm phylum, and the Anemone are typical examples of radial symmetry. Hydroids, jellyfish, anemones, and corals are examples of Nidarians. To catch and subdue prey, all Nidarians have tentacles with stinging cells at their tips. In fact, Nidarian literally translates to stinging creature in the phylum name. The stinging cells, also known as nidocytes, have an organ called a nematocyst, a stinger that resembles a coil of thread. The nematocyst, the thread uncoils and springs straight when the nematocyst is commanded to fire. The harpoon-like thread enters the prey through the nidocyte wall. In addition, most nidarians carry a poison in their stinger that aids in immobilizing their victim. The nematocyst is either activated by the tentacle contacting something or, in certain instances, by an animal-generated nerve impulse. The majority of nidarians' nematocysts are harmless to people since the stinger cannot get deep enough into human skin to cause any harm. However, certain jellyfish have stings that can cause people to suffer excruciating agony and, in rare instances, even death. The nidarians can have either a polypoid or a metasoid body shape. The polypoid is an arrangement of corals and anemones, with the mouth and tentacles often facing upward and the other side attached to a substrate or linked to a colony of similar-looking organisms. The mouth and tentacles of the metasoid are often directed downward and the creature is upside down. These nidarians typically swim freely, much like jellyfish. Because of this, the anemone is occasionally referred to as an upside-down jellyfish. The phylum is split into three classes, which are referred to as hydrozoans, anthozoans, and syphozoans, denoting water animals, flower animals, and bowel animals, respectively. The majority of the polypoid-shaped creatures that live on the bottom are called hydrozoans, hydroids, and anthozoans, anemones, corals. This indicates that they have mouths and tentacles that point upwards while living linked to the bottom. An excellent instance of an anthozoan is the northern red anemone. Some are colonial, meaning they live in groups that are joined by living tissue and share food resources, while others are solitary, meaning they live alone. The syphozoans, on the other hand, are what we refer to as jellyfishes, albeit jellies might be a better term given that they aren't fish. The mouth and tentacles of jellies often point downward while they float in the water. This is known as a metasoid body type. Some jellies are quite poisonous to people, some of them can even be fatal if their tentacles come into touch with naked flesh for a long enough time, but the majority just create a moderate rash resembling poison ivy and are not that harmful. The lion's mane jellyfish, whose bell may reach more than 6.5 feet in diameter, is the biggest nidarian. The tiniest is the hydra, which is less than three-fourths of an inch long. A gastrodermis and an exterior layer termed an epidermis are seen on nidarians, also called the endodermis. The mesoglia, a jelly-like material, lies between the two layers. Their stomach, gullet, and intestines are all contained in the colenteron, which has a single entrance that acts as both the mouth and the anus. Nidarians, which number thousands of species, are found in all of the world's seas, in Arctic temperature and tropical regions. Depending on the species, they can dwell anywhere from shallow coastal areas to the deep sea, and they can be found in a wide range of water depths and near the shore. A class of aquatic creatures, known as the Nidarians, eats plankton and other tiny organisms for food. They can renew and restructure their bodies, which raises the rather contentious possibility that they are virtually eternal. The corals of a reef, which have been known to exist as a single sheet for more than 4,000 years, are possibly the oldest in Nidaria. Nidarians can reproduce sexually or asexually, with budding in which a second organism develops from the first one. As in anemones, free-swimming larvae are created when male and female organisms release sperm and eggs into the water column. Certain species, like jellyfish, may be resilient to climate change, but corals, such as Acropora (SPP), are classified as being at risk from environmental harm. Some nids may also need to be avoided by swimmers and divers due to their potent stings. That's it for the day, guys. We hope you liked the video. 
please click the like button if you did. And if you're new here, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching.